You know, my friends, there are very few things that we ask of our pants in life. Be comfy, protect our privates, not explode. Well, it was actually that last part that was going to be a little bit of a problem for the farmers of New Zealand back in the 1930s, when their pants would quite literally explode. Now, I know a number of you are probably confused by that statement, so please allow me to go ahead and explain this. Like many stories that begin with making a bad decision, our story today starts with a weed. No, not that one. I can see the look on your face. I'm talking about this one. Ragwort. You see, ragwort, scientific name Jacobia vulgaris, is a plant that is native to Europe, commonly known by the more unattractive name ragwort. This is a thing that made its way to New Zealand back in the 19th century, and much like any place with weeds, it very quickly became a bit of a nuisance. You see, mature ragwort looks something like a bit of a tall dandelion. It produces a bright yellow flower, it has long thin petals, but the real big issue is that the weed is also poisonous to horses and cows, which would make it a rather serious problem if it began to gain a foothold in grazing pastures, something that was actually quite important to the economy of New Zealand, which was heavily focused on agricultural goods. Now that may have been the issue with cows and horses, but sheep and goats were typically able to stomach the plant, at least to a degree. Thus, oftentimes, the best way to limit the growth of the plant was to simply just let sheep and goats into your pasture to eat it. But that was not the case for New Zealand in the early 20th century because, well, something else became a bit more popular. You see, the big thing to occur in New Zealand around this time was dairy farming. Dairy products were becoming much more economical for people, thus they wanted to produce more of it. Pasture that would have been used for sheep and goats were now turned over more to cattle. Cattle, in turn, which would not eat the ragwort. And what that did, in turn, is cause the weed ragwort to grow like, well, a weed. As the plant took over more and more pasture land, this would push out the native grasses that were actually needed in order to feed the animals that were on said pastures. The problem became so severe that by the early 1930s, what the farmers were having to do was petition the government of New Zealand for help. The solution that they came up with was a chemical herbicide, something called sodium chlorate. And that is where the, uh, the real problem starts to come in. You see, on its own, there really was no problem with using sodium chlorate to kill weeds. It actually was a very effective herbicide. And with it being so successful, the government encouraged farmers to spray it liberally, to use it as much as they could to kill off these plants. And sure enough, as a result, they killed a ton of ragwort. But in addition to being a highly effective herbicide, sodium chlorate has another property that is less desirable. The fact that it is highly caustic. Which meant that as it dried, farmers were finding that their pants suddenly began to explode. One of the earliest cases of exploding pants, and perhaps one of the most closely associated with phenomenon, involved a farmer by the name of Richard Buckley. He made local news after some of his pants just began to explode in his house. As the story goes, after he had been wearing them to spray the sodium chlorate, he hung them in front of the fire to dry them out. When, out of nowhere, his trousers began to explode with a bang. According to news reports of that day, he was able to snag his now on fire pants and throw them out to the grass where these small explosions would continue to erupt in the garments. Buckley was alarmed, but unharmed. Around that same time, there were more reports of spontaneously combusting pants that began to appear, and not all of them were harmless like Buckley's was. One report claimed the farmer was riding his horse when the friction caused his pants to begin to smolder right there in the saddle. Jesus Christ, that has got to be unpleasant. There would be more stories of rather unfortunate people who happened to be wearing their pants as the chemical reaction magically decided to take place and light them on fire. Some of these would survive with serious burns. Others were not so lucky and would perish as a result of their wounds. One person reportedly died after lighting a match in his electricity-free home, this being because he lit it to go try and check up on his baby. Which honestly just sounds horrifying, and I can't help but imagine that it was similar to the opening scenes of Supernatural. You know exactly what I'm talking about with the burning ceiling. So we have all these cases of exploding burning pants, but the real question here is why? Why is this something that would just happen? Well, the big problem was that in order to apply the sodium chlorate, the chemical had to be mixed with water in order to create a solution. This was then sprayed and spread, getting over all the plants that the farmers were trying to use it on. Naturally, some of this would get onto their clothing, and as their clothing would dry, the water would remove itself, it would evaporate, which would leave nothing but the volatile sodium chlorate crystals that were bonded to the fiber, something that could be set off by flames, heat, or even a strong impact. Now, while this whole thing was insane, luckily it didn't really last long. 
Over time, as other herbicides and techniques to counter ragwort would come out, this meant that less of it was being used. Less of it being used meant less pants that would suddenly catch on fire. Which, in the end, would leave us really with nothing more than the stories and legends of the event, as well as that one Mythbusters episode that went and dove into the topic. As for the cause of this whole ordeal in the first place, ragwort is still a problem in New Zealand. Not as big as it was, mind you, but it still is a thing, though other herbicides and control measures have been introduced, such as different types of insects that go and eat this specific plant. Though, thankfully, these are not things that will also lay eggs in your clothing and then explode. That would, that would be really bad. But hey, that was a really fun story. Thank you so much to the viewer who suggested it. I hope that all of you will like, comment, subscribe, and please let me know in the comment section below what it is that we should cover next. Until then, I will see you all next time. Goodbye, guys, and have a good rest of your day.